if you all have any queries regarding painting regarding uh, anything regarding my channel how do i shoot everything will be answered by me so this is going to be a promise to you all that uh, you all will get a reply so this is not a small thing guys i'm very busy but uh, i'm doing this all for you so guys please comment welcome to tatha art lovers once again so this is going to be a painting of a romantic couple so here i am going to be explaining some new new techniques so i have done earlier this is going to be a next one on romantic couple so guys if you haven't seen my first video of romantic couple which will be somewhere in the corner of the screen so go and please check here finally i'm back with my kid series which is going to be on the kids so guys if you are on a summer vacation and if you are a kid or if you happen to be a parent and right now watching my channel guys please go and to the youtube search and type in tatha art lovers kid series i have explained everything which starts from the pencil holding towards a great painting so in this kid series guys i am going to be explaining each and everything which is required to start off from the scratch so uh, not to worry it's a good news if you are currently in any tutorial or if you don't get a chance to go to a tutorial or you know xyz reason uh, then guys this is going to be helpful and everything will be absolutely zero cost uh, stick around till the end and you are going to have something to take away with this video and another thing guys please like share and subscribe uh i don't know guys why do i say this i feel creepy to say this sometimes but this is my job to tell you guys and this is your job to do like share and subscribe if you like the video let's roll over to the video
this is a complete imaginary painting so i have started with my drawing uh looking carefully at the relation between the two subject uh, which i have placed so i had to place them very closely at least their head should be placed placed very closely and the emotion which is reflecting is pretty much important i think i have uh, done a good job here and uh, i am pretty much happy at least and uh, here i have started with the background so the background is uh, kind of foggy which i have imagined to make the subject look little brighter and sharper uh, in order to give them a 3d effect so now uh, i am giving the background a touch of sap green uh, which is on the ground and the sky will be little foggy which will be uh, so i have mixed with gray little bit of uh, you know uh, raw amber so that it will give a little bit of foggy effect you can see always i start with the background and the once the background i am pretty much satisfied with then i go ahead with the sub subject uh, i have chosen the darkest color first and then i am moving down to the little bit lighter and then more lighter and finally i'll be giving the highlight color so guys i am uh, using here fevicryl bottle color and the last two layer i'll be using the um, artist color which is of camel you know during the sunset there are some interesting color where you can apply the the very warm color as well as very dark color so that's why i have chosen to give the background a sunset if uh, sunset effect and uh, here uh, i am using uh, basically for the sunset more of a raw amber which is the earth color with all the normal combination I ha I'm using just a white plastic uh, plate which you use to uh, normally in the kitchen so I have taken from them because I had wooden palette which I was not at all happy uh, once I was doing my acrylic that wooden color I have left it for my oil color painting because you know wooden color uh, sorry uh, the wooden palette always uh, you know tends to dry up the acrylic paint very very fast so many people you must have seen that they are using the um, butter paper on top of the uh, palette and here my I'm, what i'm using as a palette is a white plate which normally used for you use for eating so all the professional plate i have plate i have left because it simply doesn't work for me and uh, what i am doing here is uh, not using even butter paper because it is costing me a lot and on top of that uh, i think the, the the sliding effect i really didn't like at all i have tried it before so guys i am always looking for a, a great painting with a minimum costing uh, but if it is working or helping me i am always willing to spend more money but it was not simply working that's why i did not use the butter paper i'm using dagger brush uh, for almost uh, you know every painting i use more of a dagger brush and flat brush i use for the background dagger brush has one good advantage it can do the detailing or a broad brush stroke
the idea of this wine glass it came at last i know it is looking little bit of off the topic because in the middle of the ground where did they find a wine glass so remember the wedding pictures they are in the middle of the jungle wearing uh, you know wedding dress sherwani or a suit uh, you know it also doesn't go go with it but yeah once it is a you can look it as a you know professional photography then it will make sense <laughs> i don't know, i just loved it to give the wine glass on the hand of the girl and you know it's kind of a fun to do something which will strike a question into your mind right sun is on the back or the back side of the of the man so that the sun is directly you know heading or hitting the back of the head of that man so it's very important to understand that from where the light is coming it is easier to understand where the shadow will be so everywhere the shadow will be you know opposite to the light as you all know but you be careful while you are doing sometimes you will miss the shadow so any great painting always follow uh, every shadow which can be possibly lying down on the subject so as you can see at this point of time i have understood the head size of the girl uh, is not quite right so i'm going to fix it very soon with the hair and yeah i have a lot of room to recover from it so now it's time to give some highlights and finish up the painting but i haven't finished yet so i have started using all the artist color tube of camlin oh so just to let you know guys uh, this is not a realistic painting i have tried to do this is a artistic painting so uh, in the exhibitions uh, it actually helps me a lot to sell out if i am doing artistic but realistic is for just for your lesson to understand the exact color shadow and everything so if you are really into selling and all please do the painting as artistic as possible realistic painting yes you can do but you can only do while you are having a commission based work or uh, somebody has given you their picture you have to make a portrait of that exact person so you can do realistic a bit but still i would suggest the background and the other non focal point you can keep it artistic which means you can give less layer less detailing as i told you guys the head size of the girl were not really right before uh, to me so now i have actually recovered from that so the shirt of the man is really artistic even the you know the attire of the girl also now i am looking for some highlight Uh, which is uh, created by the sunlight to give a nice finishing touch i really enjoyed uh, you know so guys i really enjoyed these kind of painting where there are chemistry between you know the subjects so it could be a uh, love it could be hatred it could be a fight it could be you know a uh, you know street it could be a shop so guys let me know what kind of other painting can i do so i basically uh, you know prefer to do all kinds of genre except abstract painting which i you know tried only two or three times but i did not enjoy doing it so guys always i would suggest you all that what do you enjoy you paint otherwise the finishing will not never be satisfactory so guys i have really satisfied with the outcome and let me know in the comment section which area you really liked out of this painting and which technique 
you really like so remember number one which area you have liked also number two which technique you have liked in this entire painting for now i'll be signing off but i will see you until my next upload peace out